congratulations madam thank you sir for securing uh, 195 rank in the civil service <coughs> examination of 2021 and also you secured uh, this 195th rank in the first attempt itself uh, <coughs> now what is the success for that one sir i am actually feeling very happy uh, success is i think uh, i i did not focus on that part sir that is the result part i was just focusing on the process sir Uh, like my ms dhoni always says it is the process that has uh, uh, b- bore fruits here sir it has uh, come positive for me okay so uh, dhoni is one of her inspiration Definitely, also in sir. the uh, civil service exam Definitely sir okay so whenever dhoni comes to bat and used to hit uh, used to hit a six like that you hit a uh, uh, <laughs> six in the first attempt itself and get it getting a secure berth in the uh, civil service examination yes, sir i i feel quite privileged and uh, lucky okay. to be uh, selected sir okay madan you are a doctor yes sir so doctor profession is considered to be a very noble one even during the time of nowadays in the covid doctors are considered to be as next to the god but why you are uh, choosing civil service as a career instead of a doctor prof- a doctor profession sir uh, definitely sir that is the question i get wherever i go especially in the before the interview board uh, sir i think it is a tough decision to make sir uh, i wanted to become a civil servant since my school days mm. i have to bear this sir i have to endure this uh, not going before the society and serving the people and instead choosing to prepare sir it is a tough decision but ultimately sir i think uh, this service will help me in exploring my potentials to the fullest limit so i prefer uh, civil services over medical services having said that uh, i think uh, the knowledge which i have gathered from medical centers will be definitely useful in civil services mm-hmm. okay okay so <coughs> uh, doctor to become a collector uh, sir i think i will get into a land into an ips sir ips okay, officer so uh, yes. we can say that doctor to become a police officer definitely sir okay so uh, it's going to be a challenging one definitely sir okay uh, madan uh, <coughs> share your successful journey in the civil service with sir yes, sir sir i actually uh, came with say I, i was completely unaware and lost when i reached chennai okay i actually after finishing my internship i came to sankarayas academy sir okay. actually uh, entire uh, team of sankarayas starting from the faculty to all the coordinators they were very helpful to me sir okay and actually uh, i entered the academy as a child with okay. a curiosity sir uh, okay. because here in our classroom uh, as you know we can we can ask any doubt mm. no one gets irritated there was complete uh, freedom to express ourselves express our ignorance and also our curiosity okay this <laughs> the entire team was very friendly sir okay i was i was associated uh, with shankar as right from the prelims preparation uh, actually prefit was the test series i used to solve daily 50 questions sir okay. in prefit mm. that i feel that it is uh, very helpful than reading books mm. during the last time of preparation and i also also part of a mainstreaming test series interview guidance program mm. the entire journey of upsc uh, to some to some extent was associated with uh, sankaraya sankaraya has played a vital role sir okay see madan how the uh, gs pcm program is helpful for you because you belong to the 2019 uh, batch weekend student yes. of sankaraya's academy how it was helpful for you sir uh, most aspirants uh, start this journey as i said they will be feeling like lost in the sea sir mm. this this actually this helps actually uh, it it gives a moral booster sir mm. it gives a moral booster mm. we will be uh, having friends mm. those who are associated with this journey mm. that is actually a quite g- a great thing sir mm. prelims come means uh, it enlightens us about the syllabus and mm. it, it it directs us towards okay. the right path okay instead of getting lost or uh, losing the direction it mm. direct directs us towards the process okay see <coughs> then uh, how the uh m- mains program is helpful for you yes um, regarding mainstreaming main or uh, yeah mainstreaming test series i think uh, sir i gave mainstreaming only in shankarayas academy okay. i think uh, this uh, the syllabus was charted uh, for voyages who are the first time givers and who have already given mains uh, the second or third attempt like on it was very helpful sir because we, uh, there were sectional tests mm. those tests uh, i think it helped me uh, 
to deal the topics in detail okay uh, in detail and it paid off sir especially uh, essay te series uh, and the evaluation especially was uh, on time sir okay. that i find it was very helpful okay we i got the evaluated papers on just 3 days after the test okay Th- that is uh, actually on time evaluation with uh, i think uh, the feedback was also quite constructive okay uh, it was not uh, dejecting mm-hmm. it was motivating for me to, uh, okay. for me to improve more okay so how were the feedback sessions yes uh, the key especially the key mm. they were very perfect sir uh, mm. uh, in last i think 2 uh, 3 weeks i used to just revise the key okay that is that will be sufficient okay and uh, as i said previously the faculty were uh, they their feedbacks were quite constructive okay they were not dejecting uh, they used to encourage me okay but still uh, they will award me average marks okay <laughs> but the, that keeps an aspirant to improve more improve more yes. it motivate you definitely it motivate always will motivate the candidates yes, to get sir. more and more marks that will help them to uh, get into the uh, clear the mainstreaming and definitely also the mains sir. examination definitely in, this, sir. in the civil service yes sir sir uh, i would like to add one thing sir okay. initially i felt that uh, slightly demotivating mm. but the thing is mm. if we become complacent with the marks mm. i think uh, it might not have helped me okay the constant pursuit to improve mm. i think it helped me this okay. time so the continuous refining of a person will help you to clear the mains examination definitely sir so that will say uh, mainstreaming helped you a lot for you definitely sir okay okay so you are a part of geography associated with shankara yes, sir tell me your uh, geography journey in shankara yes sir i actually came with a mind uh, that is uh, social sciences i wanted to take social sciences as an optional mm. i was very clear in that mm. but uh, i had a slight oscillation between geography and history mm. I watched the orientation class by Gautam sir. sir. Mm-hmm. Once I watched that, uh, I fixated my mind. Mm-hmm. This is my optional. I'm going to give geography as an optional sir. Okay. As I said, uh, Gautam sir and also Karthikeyan sir. Actually, Karthikeyan sir, uh, I used to call him as uh, Anna, my elder brother. Sir. Okay. Both of them are like my brothers sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, they took care of me in the entire process uh, like their younger brother. Okay. They were very helpful. I used to call them any time. Mm. They were very helpful. They mm. gave me very constructive feedback. Okay. Uh, my mark was actually 276 sir. Okay. Uh, more than myself, they were very happy for me. Okay. Uh, they were gem uh, teachers sir. Uh, okay. So how the optional uh, geography optional test series will help you for securing uh, the marks? How you improve your marks? Yes sir. Um, sir as I said uh, the the kartik uh, kartik sir uh, feedback will be uh, blunt sir mm. he wants uh, me to be constantly improving mm. not giving fake uh, fake uh, comments or not giving false statements mm. he used to be straight forward with me mm. and i used to take that in a right sense sir okay uh, regarding uh, presentation okay. he was very strict with me i he wanted me to improve the present handwriting okay i just worked on that in the last two papers mm. i hope that would have made a 5 to 10 mark difference okay definitely working on handwriting after his insisting and another valid point i would like to share is uh, he advises me mm. to practice writing outside before okay. entering the exam hall okay i used to just scribble sir okay. at least the syllabus okay that i think is very helpful because uh, from the the moment the bell strikes mm. our speed will be uh, we will be able to catch that speed sir okay if i had not done that mm. i think i would have missed a 10 marker or 15 markers okay your rank would be somewhat definitely uh, to, uh, 300 or something else yes, sir, uh, as you know sir uh, five marks would make a uh, difference definitely. of 20 in, ranks yes, yes definitely in civil service examination one mark plays a crucial definitely, role definitely sir five marks would be a huge, huge difference yes sir okay so personal rapport with the faculty with respect to the optional and their advice and the feedback helps you a lot to improve the marks yes, okay tell me what how, how you benefited out of the interview program in shankara yes sir yes uh, sir so actually the interview program was uh, structured in a perfect way to help candidates like me who are the first time sir okay right from starting from daf profiling in daf mm. profiling we used to start from the name mm. the meaning of our name uh, yes. i remember you uh, asking me the meaning of my okay. name about myself uh, okay and there were also one on one sessions sir mm. that was also quite constructive and we also had a uh, topic based sessions okay where entire team was engaged uh, okay. i remember every staff from uh, sankara is uh, teaching core their core to- topics okay i think it uh, it helped me equip it okay. helped me to reduce the anxiety okay 
for the first time okay yes. okay so wha- what about the mock interview sessions here in chennai yes sir i actually gave two mocks uh, one in chennai and one in delhi sir okay uh, the one in chennai uh, i had uh, it was not that good I means i performed a bit low but uh, they encouraged me a lot but in delhi i think uh, it was the last mark that i gave before going to the interview okay i received a completely positive uh, feedback okay. that actually boosted my confidence sir okay mathan tell me what is a success as a first time first attempt candidate you have success in the civil service examination and also you get one of the uh, 195th rank what is the strategy with respect to the prelims sir uh, prelims i think uh, mug uping is not uh, so not they i uh, usually candidates used to mug up facts sir okay upsc is very clear that it it will not work mm. i think i view every question as a concept sir mm. when we are thorough with concepts and we know what the question is uh, demanding mm. we have to find that uh, logical or rational inconsistency sir mm. in every question there will be something uh, mm. i think rather than finding the correct answer mm. we used to find the flaw in that question or mm. the options mm. when a candidate is able to find that flaw mm. that will come only with uh, conceptual clarity okay then it's a cake walk sir okay and uh, also candidates should not ignore uh, csat csat okay. is uh, nowadays becoming very tough yes yes yes, yes. say csat part csat what yeah. is your advice for the uh, aspirants regarding the csat don't take it very lightly it can stop okay your, your own cpsc dream especially even engineering candidates okay they are failing in csat okay practicing Thanks. practicing questions sir okay that would suffice so practice makes perfect definitely so sir. that's with respect to csat practice makes them to clear the csat yes sir to reach their target yes, level in the csat okay what's your strategy for the mains examination that is mains drawing yes sir sir mains i think uh, you, uh, before writing uh, uh, starting writing uh, starting to write answers i think there should be some Gra- conceptual clarity in wide aspects sir okay because uh, after reading the subjects at least uh, multiple subjects only we can uh, able to give multiple dimensions in our answer so i think after one two to three months of uh, reading one should start writing answers in the home itself sir self evaluate answers okay uh, there is saying sir uh, that the best answer we write is would be found on the 300th paper okay 300th or 200th paper okay okay those 200 papers we should we should be writing sir uh, if we don't write those uh, 200 papers uh, that would be very bad we we used to get dejected that is all part of the process sir the only thing is to start writing after 2 to 3 months of preparation sir okay so why i am asking this means <clears throat> many experienced candidate in the mains examination not able to complete the paper but as a first uh, first attempt to candidate how you completed the paper and came out successful in the 195th rank yes. that is what uh, approaching the uh, all four paper subject of studies yes sir sir i think uh, a candidate should not get emotionally attached to any question sir uh, for example i used to get attached to geography questions okay. even in gs papers when i see mm. i would it will touch my it will hurt my ego if i am not able to give the best okay. uh, the best answer okay uh, after one or two uh, mock test in shankara as yes, i came to realize that that will not work okay giving a, I, i should com- finish the paper if i am not going to finish a single paper then i said to myself i will not be in the list okay so yes, whether whatever the optional may be you have to approach the general studies paper in a general stu- general studies way yes sir you may be a geography optional or you may be a political science optional you may be a public administration optional uh, etc like that we should not so be emotionally swayed attached okay. swayed swayed by uh, the oh. questions which we uh, which are which belong to our optional okay yes okay so what is your uh, suggestion for the future aspirants regarding the civil service in the preparation so i think uh, there is a quote from naval ravikant sir uh, okay. read what you love until you love to read sir okay. first we should start uh, okay. reading sir we mm. should start reading mm. and also i think uh, when we compare general studies i think most candidates uh, are understanding concepts and are quite strong okay. but they are neglecting essay ethics and options sir okay actually uh, the difference between a successful candidate and one who doesn't succeed is these three things which i said essay ethics and optional mm-hmm. even after repeatedly uh, having discussion with my friends mm-hmm. they are not focusing on essay parts uh, they should view essay as a separate paper mm-hmm. it it has uh, 250 marks mm-hmm. reading gs and uh, reproducing answers in essay will not fetch good marks mm-hmm. 
difference can be made only in these aspects okay essay ethics and optional okay how you approach the essays yes sir i daily i used to spend uh, a dedicated time to essay and ethics sir mm. right from newspapers from newspapers i take notes only for essay and ethics mm. not not for general uh, studies because mm. it is what we do year long every candidate uh, reads uh, fetches content for general studies okay that everyone does sir uh, to crack this one needs to focus on completely focus completely or i would say disproportionately towards essay and ethics mm, mm. i think that would make a great difference okay 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 thank you madan thank, thank you sir. for your uh, uh, and also we all the best for your successful thank career you, in the civil service thank examination you, thank you very much thank you so much sir